Hi, Dale coming to you from my garage again, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this. This is super easy, super fast, super basic, but it's gonna be super, super helpful to us at our house. What is it? Well, just a hint. It uses half inch French cleat, and we're gonna use it on stinky clothes day. Come on, let's go. The first thing I need to do is cut a scrap piece of half inch plywood down to size. For me, that's about 24 inches by 18 inches. Next, I rip down a couple pieces to about one inch wide for support. And then I take a two inch wide scrap and I rip it down the middle at a 45 to form my French cleat. Those 45 cuts leave a very sharp edge, so I trim off about a 16th to an eighth of an inch to remove the sharpness. Just like life is not always perfect, neither are the walls of your house. I've got a few measurements that I need that are not straight or square, so I'm using the old blue painter's tape and Starbond CA glue trick to temporarily attach my cleat and the support to make sure that I have all my measurements correct. This Starbond glue is awesome stuff and you can use the code BRONCBUILT at checkout for a nifty 15% off your next purchase. There are just so many uses for this Starbond CA glue. I'll leave a link below. Okay, to test the fit, I'm gonna need to give away the answer to what this is. We have a pretty small laundry room and we don't have any place to fold clothes. While this will be a small shelf, it will give us some room to fold our clothes as we finish our laundry. We'll utilize the laundry sink for this. Testing the fit shows that all my measurements and calculations were A-OK. -okay. Now that the test fit showed that my measurements were good, the blue tape comes off easy so I can give it a quick sand. I sand all sides of all pieces with 220 grit. Make sure you go really light with the sanding as the veneer on the plywood is very thin and it's really easy to sand through. Even though I'm going to be painting this project, I still want to use edge banding as that will give a much cleaner look to the edges. Standard stuff here. Iron on the pre-glued banding and then trim to fit. It's super easy, especially with these inexpensive specialty tools made just for this task. Now I double check my measurements, glue and brad nail the supports and cleats back on. In reality, the glue is probably way overkill here. The supports will have almost no stress on them and the cleat it will be only holding a couple of pounds spread across the full 24 inches. But hey, I have the glue, so why not use it? Now to pretty it up and make it look like it belongs in our laundry room. I start with a good coat of primer. I follow that up with a couple of coats of white paint that I found somewhere in the house. And then I follow that up with a couple coats of poly. I realize that painting is one of the more sensual parts of a build, so here's a nice slow motion of some sweet paint action. Now to install it in our laundry room. Just a couple of screws to attach the French cleat to the wall and a final test. I apologize for the poor lighting, but it's a small space and I don't really have room for any additional lights. Well, I told you that this was super basic, super easy and super fast, but this is incredibly helpful for us. If you have a smaller laundry room like we do, you may want to think about using an area like this with a simple removable shelf because it's going to make your life a whole lot easier when it comes time for folding your clothes. It gives you a place to fold your clothes. Before this, we were hauling all of our clothes out to our living room or our dining room table or up to our room and using our bed. Now we have a small but very useful platform to fold our clothes after doing laundry. Until next time, See ya.